What's up Covalence friends? Today we're gonna to be taking our Express template and we're going to be adding Browserify to it so that we can start bundling our client code. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're starting off with our CommonJS Express template and we're gonna do some rearranging here because honestly, if we're gonna be using a bundler like Browserify, uh, I typically like to kind of restructure the project a little bit more. And so what I'd like to do is if we're gonna have our server and our client um, kind of in the same project and kind of have this like monolithic app, then I'm going to do, you know, have, I'm gonna have our server folder and then I'm gonna also have our client folder. And inside our client folder, I'm going to have our source, which is gonna contain all of our JavaScript and whatnot. So typically what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move our app.ts into our client source, right? So now we actually have our app.ts inside of our client source JavaScript. And then at our root level client folder, I'm gonna add a new folder called main.ts. And this main.ts is gonna act as essentially an aggregate of all of our TypeScript files, right? So we're gonna import all of our TypeScript files in here, and then that's gonna be essentially what we use to output our final JS uh, file, right? That we're gonna actually be putting inside of this JS folder. All right, so we're gonna still use the public folder as essentially everything that's gonna be accessible um, to you know the client itself or in terms of the browser, right? So anything the browser can access, we want to put in our public folder. So we don't actually want the browser to be accessing any of our TypeScript files inside of our client folder. We just want, you know, essentially if we minify this, it's gonna be the minified output of what we end up compiling, right? Um, inside of our server folder, we're gonna move all of our routers, right? So that's gonna go inside of our server. Um, we're also gonna put all of our HTML files. And then you could actually uh, break this down even more if you wanted to. So you could um, you know, put these inside of essentially like a views folder. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna keep it simple just so that you know, essentially this is a very lightweight um, starter template, right? So we're gonna put the not found in here as well. Um, and so on, so on. So let's see, uh, we are going to move the index as well. So we want our index in there. Um, we have, I think, are we missing something here? We have error.html. I thought we had a not found. What happened to that guy? Did I put it in here by accident? I may have put it, oh, I put it in the routers. All right, so make sure that it goes in the right in the right thing. All right, so in our routers, we just have the TS files. Inside of our server, we have error.html. We have index.html. We have not found.html. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in a views folder as well. So we're gonna move, oh, cancel that. We're gonna move all of these inside of our views. And then inside of our index now, um, actually it's gonna be inside of our configure function, right? We actually have uh, these right here. So it's gonna be dir name and it's actually going to be uh, views slash index.html, and then anywhere else that we have this, it's going to be views slash not found and views slash error.html, right? All right, so that's gonna fix that. We now have all of the right indexes, we have the right path, paths, path names, oh, uh, and we are now going to move on to actually using Browserify. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up a new terminal and we are going to npm i browserify and we're going to save that. So that should only take a second. And bam, zero vulnerabilities, always a good sign. Let's go ahead and shrink this up a little bit. And we're going to open up our package.json and we're going to have to redo all of our starter scripts here. So what we're going to want is let's go ahead and create two new starter script. So we're going to have start dev. Um, we're also going to have something called bundle and bundle is basically going to be using browserify. So we're going to call browserify. We're going to point it to our client slash main.js. And then we're going to do a out dash out to public slash js slash app.js, right? And if you have any transforms, you can actually do a .t and then put the transform name there too. We're not gonna be using any transforms, but something like stringify is used a lot if you wanna stringify HTML or some other text file into some kind of import statement, that's also extremely useful as well. So 
Um, now we got to make sure that we're still using, we're actually still doing TypeScript, right? So uh, our start function is going to change. We're going to do at and npm run bundle and npm run start server. So that's going to be the same. Um, actually, let's not do that. Let's move it all into start dev, right? So we're actually going to do um, npm run uh, bundle and npm run start server. All right. So now we have this and now we can just do start dev instead. And then that's what we can use for our dev with TSE watch on success. We actually want to run start dev, which is going to run bundle, right? It's going to browserify into, it's going to bundle our main.js into our app.js. And then it's going to run start server, which is going to just call node index.js. But now it's not no longer, it's no longer node index.js. It is now node server slash index.js, right? So that's going to be here. And that should be what we need. Uh, and now we can actually go into our client and we're going to make sure that we're actually doing something in app.ts, right? So we have this console.log express rocks. We want to import. It's going to be slash source slash app, right? So that's going to import our app and inside app, we can actually do stuff now, which is nice. So what we want to do is let's say we have some sort of share. This would be a demonstration of how this works. Let's say we have a shared folder inside of our share shared folder. We have something like utils, right? And inside of our utils folder, we have just our index.ts. And in here we want to export um, some kind of const. Let's call it just version. And let's just say it's 1.0.0. And this gets digested or ingested into both the server and the client, right? And so we're going to use it in our app.ts. So now we can just go ahead and we can import um, our version, right? From dot dot slash dot dot slash shared slash utils. And we are now going to use this version. So instead of console.logging express rocks, we're going to console.log our version. All right, so we now have our version here and that's going to be used both the front end and the back end, let's just say. Um, and now we can actually just npm run dev and it's going to compile, it's going to perform our bundle. So let's do an npm run bundle, it calls browserify, it starts the server we pop open a browser real quick and we go to localhost 3000, we can see that it ran fine and we were able to import the version number successfully. We have 1.0.0. And so if we make any changes now, let's say we come in here and we just say, um, you know, we also want to alert version. All right, when we reload this page now, there we go. 1.0.0. All right, so every time we reload this page now, it's going to alert that version number 1.0.0. So clearly we don't want that, but we can see that it does compile when we save. Um, and likewise, if we delete this again, you know, on success, it does run the bundler. And so it takes a little bit longer, but it is bundling everything and then restarting the server, right? And so everything looks good. And you now have a, a common JS bundled application. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I personally love Browserify. I think it's a little bit more lightweight than Webpack is, and it seems to be a little bit faster. And so hopefully you guys also like it too. If you don't, feel free to let us know in the comments. Feel free to let us know if there's any questions as well, or if you have any additional you know, content suggestions for future stuff. So we love hearing from you guys. We love seeing the feedback and we really take it to heart. So please subscribe, check out our courses if you haven't yet and make sure that you guys come back soon. Get out of here.